We are beginning our Commitment 2020 coverage to profile each race leading up to the June primary election. The congressional seat in Iowa's 2nd District is up for grabs because Democrat Dave Loebsack is retiring. The district covers southeastern Iowa and tonight KCCI chief political reporter Cynthia Fodor asked the four Republican candidates about jobs and the economy. Consumer confidence. Um, there was the American people were fully engaged. Uh, labor costs were going up, meaning people were getting raises, and uh, we were hitting on all cylinders just three short months ago. Until the consumer, we're a, uh, a consumer-driven economy, meaning when we buy stuff, the economy hums. We've got to get the consumers out there confidently again engaged and then our economy will come roaring back. If we release the American entrepreneur to get back to work, this will be a V-shaped economy. If we continue to print money and keep people sheltered in place and do not reopen the economy, uh, we're, we're looking at a future depression. How uh, how do we keep the economy moving and bring back jobs? Well, I think all of us agree that the economy is going to change going forward. Um, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with work from home. And if that becomes a larger, uh, a larger percentage of the workforce than it has been, uh, travel may change. So there are industries we know that will be changing um, as we emerge out of the pandemic. And part of this is getting the confidence of the public most folks just need to figure things out on their own. Every time the government gets involved, it just makes things a little bit more complicated. And there are only re really three kinds of jobs out there. There's unemployment, self-employment, or uh, employment. Either work for yourself for your money, works for somebody else for your money, or don't work at all for nothing. And if one of them isn't working out, try one or the other. This is about us all uh, setting aside the political uh, arena and just focusing in on how do we get this thing up and off the ground as Americans. And anytime we can put people back to work and keep them safe, of course, uh, we have to do that. And that's exactly uh, what we intend on doing. KCCI said the photo reporting, if you're planning to vote, you have until May 22nd to request an absentee ballot. If you do not receive a request form in the mail, go to voterready.iowa.gov.